Uh, okay, so there's two mechanics for roll comps that you need to understand if you want to like get the maximum out of out of your rolling strats. One of them is overflowing, one of them is blacklisting. When you roll a pack, I'll demonstrate it with the next pack. Um, when I roll this pack, there's zero odds that I hit Quap, Beastmaster, Dazzle, and Enchantress, but I can't not hit Quap twice. So, I can open, buy one, re-roll, and there's still 0% chance that I hit Queen of Pain, right? Hold up, I need to uh, try and get Slark here. Alright, I didn't get Slark here. This is actually a pretty good blacklist. Fuck it. This one too. Uh, one too. Uh, okay, for example, I had two pucks there, right? I can buy one and still blacklist the puck. So there's still 0% chance that I hit the puck in the next round. Or in the next roll. Um, however, by buying one of them, I am taking one puck out of the pool. Out of the global unit pool. Now, because there's fewer pucks uh, in the global unit pool, the odds that I hit a puck in this pack, for example, go down. Because I then blacklist puck in that one shop just now. I had three free costs, uh, Treant, Beastmaster, and Lifestealer. I didn't blacklist the puck. But, because I have this puck on my bench, I take one of them out of the global unit pool. This one. Um, and because which free cost you get is determined by the composition of the global unit pool at that moment, uh, it's good having this puck, even though I'm not playing it, because it gives me better odds to get Slark and Lycan. Okay, so in this shop, Lifestealer, Beastmaster, Inspector. If I roll this shop, either by using my free roll or by using two gold, there is a 0% chance that I hit any of those units in my next shop, right? Um... What that means is that if I have this 40%, if I hit the 40% uh, chance to get a tier 3 unit that I have on this level, then I can't hit those specific free cost units. Right? Those very specific free cost units I cannot hit. Which increases my Slark odds and my Lycan odds. 